John Collier, who wrote this story, is surely one of the wittiest and most subtle writers of our time. He has produced a multitude of short stories, three novels, and many fine film scripts. When Collier writes fiction, he is totally outrageous. Consider, for example, a novel called His Monkey Wife, which is all about a female chimpanzee who falls in love with and eventually marries an undistinguished colonial schoolmaster. If that isn't outrageous, I don't know what is. Here, then, is another equally outrageous Collier story. You were always pretty, but you're in grave danger of becoming a beauty. I'm looking forward to starting at the hospital. God help the hearts of our students when you do this. <laughs> Darling, do you circulate with this? Oh, yes, of course. Would you like to? Oh, no, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I know James is going to hate me making a speech. Oh. All the same, I'm jolly well going to. <laughs> Quite right, too. <laughs> now then, who but Hermione would provide us all with such a splendid feast a few hours before she goes off to America. Well, I'm quite sure of one thing. She'll be the only one who doesn't suffer from jet lag. <laughs> well, you know, I sometimes feel nowadays that Britain's losing faith in herself. So it's a real shot in the arm to know that our hospital, and in particular James's unit, leads the world in one field. Yeah, yeah. So much so, in fact, that uh, the Americans want to steal James from us for... Nine months. Oh, well, that's the usual period of gestation. So let's hope that the mating of James and the Americans will bear fruit. <laughs> well, we're all going to miss him. And we shall miss Hermione, too. And alas, she won't be here to organize our arts festival this summer. However, I understand it's all in the capable hands of... Um, of, um, Sebastian. Who? Sebastian. Uh, uh, Sebastian. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, uh, ah, yes. Yes, well, uh, I won't be here to bully you all into buying tickets, but we do have some most exciting events, particularly that series of concerts of Renaissance music, mm -hmm. and I do hope that you'll all give Sebastian your support. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, I hope you both have a splendid trip. Oh, and uh, one thing. We all know what James is going to spend the proceeds on. <laughs> well, what more harmless hobby could there be than growing orchids? I must say, they do look very nice. I don't know much about them. Mm, they also smell very nice. Just like Hermione. <laughs> what I smell of is, is packing, luggage and mothballs. <laughs> no, 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 Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just like to say that the research which has given us the honour of this invitation is the result, like most modern research, of teamwork. And most of you here were in that team and we're both very grateful for all your years of hard work and loyalty. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you thank Gavin. You. Excellent. Well, no, 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 no. Drinks. Oh, how long have you been here without your drinks? Uh, and now, uh, go ahead, everyone. Darling. Oh, sorry. The unit will go on while we're away, of course, as usual, but orchids need water. And I'd be most grateful if all my friends could take care of one of our little beauties till we get back. So if you just follow me. Look after. They've all got a label with full instructions on the back. Now look here. This is a Paphiopedilum hirsutissimum. I call it the hairy one. <laughs> Do you think you're going to like it? Will it like me? Oh, of course it will. <laughs> one thing worries me, Hermione. James is going to get a lot of offers over there. Well, 
and double, treble the salaries we get. Now, you won't let him be tempted, will you? We need him. Tom, I promise you, I won't let the dollars seduce James or America seduce me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, mm. I don't think you're going to escape without one. Oh, thank you. I've got one with a Latin name that sounds extremely rude. Oh, <laughs> oh you are lucky to have a husband whose mania doesn't involve you in getting soaking wet and freezing every weekend. Oh, Tom's sailing. Tom's sailing. I'm Tom's crew. I sometimes wish the boat would sink. Not with Tom on it. Well, preferably not. <laughs> if you think orchids can't be annoying too. How? They can't talk. Oh, James talks to them endlessly. Well, rather more than he talks to me, actually. Sometimes he's in there half the night, potting and clinking away. And whenever I want to watch television or listen to a concert, that's the moment when he decides he wants to put up some shelving. <laughs> I want him to have a nice, new, modern aluminium greenhouse out of sight, behind the tennis court. See, without his clutter, that would make the most marvellous garden room. Mm. Oh, and you're so clever at doing things up. No, I'm not clever. Well, I'm clever enough to know what to copy. <laughs> <laughs> Put it out in the light and air until the first frost. We'll take the greatest care of it. Intensive care. Oh, the caviar. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's just a stick. Well, don't worry, it'll burst into butter in December. Give it a light spray over with this from time to time. Oh, Samantha. Now, this one's for you. It's called an Odontoglossum Superb. It's the most precious of them. Why? Is it a rare one? It's the most precious, Samantha, because it will give me an opportunity to call upon you to collect it. <laughs> when exactly do we see you both again? Oh, all being well, we should be back for Christmas. Put that over there, shall I? Thank you. There we are. I'll drive carefully. Eh? See you at Christmas. Bye. For God's sake, grow up! I'm a big boy now, Mummy. You can't set eyes on a young girl without having to show me that you can get her. Well, all right then. Get one. One of your adoring young nurses, maybe. And I hope you're more used to her than you are to me. You'll become a joke soon, you know. People laugh at you behind your back. Huh. The ageing Casanova. Well, that's a role that I much prefer to my present one. That of the hen-pecked husband. Hen-pecked husbands usually help. It's your glory, Hermione, that you never need help from anyone. You're always so perfectly organized. Aren't you? something absolutely extraordinary. Come up and see. No, I stopped the milk, turned off the gas, water, electricity, Hermione! To be sent on. Yes? Something really peculiar. What is it? Aren't you dressed yet? What are you doing? Unless my eyesight's deceiving me, there's a gold chain down that drain. Can't be. I haven't got a gold chain. Oh! Unless you've had someone here, of course. Some tarty little nurse who needed a bath. Oh, really? Seriously, Hermione, come and look! Oh! There. There.
can't be lost. We were there an hour ago. Well, it must be left, then right, then left again. All right. Around the world, then. One bloody earring. earrings ever since I knew you. Why don't you get your ears pierced? I can't bear the thought. <laughs> you, a hospital nurse. they'd be gone. Their flight's not until six. They might be calling on someone on the way. What is it now? I just want to drop a note in. There should have a daily woman or someone who keeps an eye on the place. If earring found, please ring. Why is it I can never remember our telephone number? 
Marvelous time here in LA and enjoying the legendary American hospitality. Back for Christmas. Much. Got my message? How are you? <laughs> I was scared to death I'd miss you. You're in Los Angeles. Yes, we've done New York, Chicago, Philadelphia. Now I'm here at last. Oh, I didn't know exactly <laughs> uh, when. Listen, Eleanor, I've got some great news. She's left me. She's gone. Left you? Where? Well, quite suddenly. What do you mean, Jane? Oh, hold on a minute. Here, come in. Oh, uh, put it in the bedroom, will you? So what time are you arriving? Not till 9.30. Oh, that means a late dinner, I suppose. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, I suppose I'll survive. Oh, thanks very much. I'll survive till then. <laughs> you usually do. Yes. What are you going to do? 
What do you mean, what am I going to do? I'm going to build a glass house, a range of glass houses. Settle down. You don't mean it. Yes, I'm going to give up being a doctor. <laughs> I'm fed up with transplanting bits of people who are dead to people who ought to be. I just don't <laughs> believe you, James. What about the hospital? Uh, uh, hold on a minute. Just a minute, James, darling. James? James? Hold on a minute, honey. Dear madam, thank you for your letter of Friday the 4th of March accepting our estimate and for the house keys you enclosed. We should be starting work on site immediately in order to complete by Christmas, as promised. We confirm that the work involved is as detailed before the letter is supplying and erecting aluminium greenhouse as shown on enclosed drawings to clearing existing conservatory, moving shelf, lifting old flooring, digging up foundations, and laying new flooring.